music licensing reimagined. Hey, how you doing, guys? Uh, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Gone Fishing. Uh, today we're at the Detroit River. A little early, but uh, I'm going to show you guys how to jig for walleye. I brought my uh, walleye set up here. Uh, Water is really dirty. If you can see the mud line in the states, it's clean. It's very clean. I don't know how they're doing out there, but in Windsor, it's brutal. It's so dirty. But uh, today, I'm just going to show you guys what you need and how to jig the Detroit River for walleye. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and I'll get my, my stuff ready and I'll show you what you need to jig, how to jig, and you never know. Maybe I'll even get one. So uh, stay tuned and let me get set up. All right, guys, so what I'm using here is a three quarter ounce jig. It's a little windy. I like five eighths, but if you're new to the game, you want to be one, one ounce to three quarters. I'm using a Lunker City Finesse Minnow, black and gold. I have a about 18 inches of floral carbon tied to a swivel barrel to my main line. I'll be using 10 pound Power Pro. It's uh, it's recommended, guys. You have to use braid if you want to jig, I think. But uh, I'll be using an Abu Garcia Vengeance. It's my favorite, favorite rod to jig with. One piece, six foot six. Very, very strong, very sensitive rod. I'll be pairing it with a President XT 25 series. And uh, that's what you guys need. All you need is this. So I'll show you exactly how to jig for walleye. All right, guys, so I got everything ready. What you want to do is the current goes from east to west so so what you want to do is cast out to the east once it hits the water guys close your bail just watch your tip and wait until it hits bottom there's bottom reel in your slack lift up Reel in your slack, lift up. Reel in your slack, lift up. Just let the current take the jig. Always make sure you're hitting bottom. Lift up, fuel bottom. Lift up, fuel bottom. Lift up, fuel the bottom. Now just keep on doing that. When it's going down, you'll feel a thud. Set the hook. Or, once you go to lift it up, the fish will be on guys so just get ready for that hit we'll try it one more time okay give it a cast about one o'clock once it hits the water close your bail just wait wait for you feel the thud when your jig hits the bottom There it is, okay? Now reel in your slack, lift up. Wait until it hits bottom, lift up. Wait until it hits bottom, lift up. Guys, it's very simple. Right now that it's cold, you wanna go slow, and you don't wanna lift it too high. About six, six inches off the ground. Thud, thud, Thud. Once it gets a little close, you want to reel in because you'll snag. Let it bounce about 10 times. Got a stick roll. See? We got a stick roll. So we'll do it one more time, guys. I'm going to show you exactly how to jig for walleye on into the Detroit River. Canadian side. So, again, three quarter ounce jig, four inch finesse minnow. I'm using black because the water is really dirty. When the water is dirty, you want to use black or something chartreuse, something bright. 
but when the water's clean you want to use natural colors so I'm going to show you guys again exactly what to do you want to cast one o'clock once it hits the water close your bail wait until you feel the thud when it hits the bottom we got strong winds so it's kind of tough but you'll still there it is thud okay reel in your slack lift up thud reel in your slack lift up thud you always want to be able to bounce you don't want to drag it you want to lift it couple inches off the bottom if you guys can see this water is filthy if you look at the Detroit side it is clean I don't know still early Okay, once it gets close, you reel it in, or else you'll lose your jig. And if you drag it without lifting, you'll lose your jig. Guys, jigs and uh, plastic, they're not cheap, so one more time, guys. So, one o'clock. They might be out far, they might be in close, you never know. You gotta try that for yourself, and then just wait. Wait until your, jog hit, your jig hits that bottom. There it is. Okay? Reel in your slack. Lift. Thud. You gotta lift it off the bottom. Don't drag it. Thud. 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 Oh, I love this rod. Guys, if you need a jigging rod, very cheap. What did I pay? 65 bucks for the rod. Very cheap, guys. Go get yourself an Abu Garcia. They're amazing. Nice reel. And make sure you have braid. Braid is very sensitive. You feel everything. You can feel if you hit a rock, if you hit a line, dead line. Okay, once you get close, you reel it in. I'm going to try for... Uh, I'm going to try for another half hour, but water's filthy. All right, guys, that's going to end another episode of uh, Gone Fishing. Uh, we're at the Detroit River. Very, very muddy. The Detroit area, very clean. Very clean. They might be catching them, but it's still too early, guys. If you want to go jigging for walleye, you want to hit like mid-April. That's when you can use anything. It doesn't matter what you use. Paddle, tail, finesse, minnow, worm, anything. You'll catch them. But right now is when you get the big mamas and, and you got you to gotta work for them. So, uh, I don't know, guys. If you Like what I said, if you need a setup, go get a cheap. You don't need a big setup at first. Go get a $100 combo. Get a $150 combo. Make sure you have braid. You want to go with 10-pound braid. You can use floral carbon if you want, or you can tie the jig right to the uh, braid. But once you get snags, that's when you start losing your braid, and braid's uh, very expensive. So, uh, I tried my hardest to teach you how to jig for a walleye here. And uh, guys, if you like uh, if you like my episode, please like, please share, and uh, we'll get back to you once we start catching them. Take care.